Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Today we're going to be showing uh, a magnet and ferrofluid. Now I've always said that a magnet, um, when energy and matter enters a magnetic system, the magnetic field will start to rotate. I've also said that the north side and the south side of a magnet are separate and they meet at the inertial line and basically either side of a magnet has fingers, filaments on it. Um, on the right you can see uh, I put a magnet um, under a piece of glass and poured ferrofluid onto it. The inertial line is facing up, so south and north are facing either up or down um, according to where you would look on the page here, so the inertial line is up. And as we can see the uh, magnetic field is drawing in spheres of ferrofluid through filaments. I have shown that magnets, when ferrofluid enters the system, um, the filaments will start to rotate and they create spheres of matter at regular intervals. As you can see here, there is also a main filament uh, going through all of the spheres. Uh, now I'm about to show a paper uh, that is theoretical and uh, can only be done in space um, but I'm the first to ever show this, so I have proven the theory of how galaxies act. Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Today we're going to be talking about magnetic fields, uh, electromagnetic fields, filaments, tendrils and uh, electromagnetism in space. We're looking at the universe today, space and astronomy news, and we're going to go down to the article where... Uh, we will hear about the largest rotating objects in the universe, galactic filaments hundreds of millions of light years long. We've known for a while about the large scale structure of the universe. Galaxies reside in filaments hundreds of millions of light years long on the backbone of dark matter, which is incorrect. Dark matter has never been proven and uh, many scientists uh, are now understanding that the universe is uh, electromagnetic and these filaments are electromagnetic filaments, um, the same that comes off the sun in a collisionless wave. And these, and where those filaments meet, there are galaxy clusters. Between them are massive voids where galaxies are sparse. Now a team of astronomers in Germany and their colleagues in China and Estonia have made an intriguing discovery. These massive filaments are rotating. And this kind of rotation on such a massive scale has never been seen before. You see, an instantaneous action of a at a distance is the only thing that will move such massive things on massive scales. This has already been proven. Obviously, there's no way to take an actual picture of the universe's large scale structure. But there are some almost famous images that come from the Millennium Simulation Program. The Millennium Simulation was a supercomputer simulation of a cubic portion of the universe over 2 billion light years on each side. The image contains about 20 mil million individual galaxies organized in filaments and clumps and it was our first real glimpse of the universe's LSS. It's remarkable to look at that image now and imagine those filaments rotating. So that's what's going on in the universe and this is where the uh, um, electric universe theory of suns on a string uh, comes from and all of it is theory about why these suns are on strings they say it's electromagnetism and the suns are in certain places but it's a theory that you has never been proven on earth until now by me and it was done in the last five years let's keep going though so those are the filaments in the universe a team of astronomers behind this discovery worked with data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. The SDSS created a very detailed 3D map of the universe, so SDSS data was critical to the team's discovery. By mapping the motion of galaxies in these huge cos cosmic superhighways using the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, a survey of hundreds of thousands of galaxies, we found a remarkable property of these filaments. They spin says Peng Wang, first author of the now published study and astronomer at the Institute of Astrophysics Potsdam. Each of the galaxies in the filaments amounts to no more than a speck of dust on the grand scale, and they're not only rotating, 
but moving along the tendrils as if in pipelines, as if they are pipelines. They move in helixes or corkscrew-like orbits, circling around the middle of the filament while traveling along it. Remember that, circling around the middle of the filament while traveling along it. Despite being thin cylinders, similar in dimension to pencils, hundreds of millions of light years long, but just a few million light years in diameter, these fantastic tendrils of matter rotate, added Gnome Lisp's kind, initiator of the project at the AIP. On these scales, the galaxies within them are themselves just specks of dust. They move on helixes or corkscrew-like orbits, circling around the middle of a filament while traveling along it. Such a spin has never been seen before on such enormous scales, and the implications is there must be as yet unknown physical mechanism responsible for talking these objects. And it has since been discovered that it's electromagnetism, which is what instantaneous action at a distance is. The fact that these filaments spin is difficult to visualize. And as you can see, I'm showing on the right here that I have visualized it for you. They are fascinating once you succeed to visualize them. But the discovery is about more than our own fascination. These are the largest objects we've ever seen spinning. And that means that angular momentum can take place on a massive scale. One of the mysteries of cosmology is how that angular momentum is generated on such a massive scale since there was no primordial rotation in the early universe. And as I've said, we have discovered it's electromagnetism is the only thing that can work on such a massive scale. The discovery rests on observations of individual galaxies in the filaments and their Doppler shift. In this study, redshift is a proxy for rotation. Redshifted galaxies are receding and blue-shifted galaxies are approaching, as we see here. I'm not a big fan of that theory, but we'll go on. In the current working model of the universe's structural formation, over densities grow via gravitational instability. Material from the under Dense regions flows into regions of overdensity, but that flow of material has no rotation or curl to it. That's why cosmologists say that there was no rotation in the early universe, and here's where this discovery gets more interesting. The rotation evident in these filaments of galaxies must be generated at the structure's form, and these filaments and the rest of the cosmic web are connected to the formation and evolution of galaxies themselves. They also have a powerful effect on the spin of individual galaxies and can regulate how a galaxy and its halo matter, its matter halo rotate. There is an unknown piece in all of this. Scientists don't yet know how our current understanding can predict that the filaments themselves spin. And again, this has already been uh, put into science that it is electromagnetism because it's the only thing that will work on such a large scale and create instantaneous action at a distance. Before this study, other scientists have theorized that these filaments spin. For example, Dr. Mark Nierink, a fellow at the Department of Theoretical Physics at the University of Basque Country, Spain, is known for theorizing on this. He's also, so it's all been theory that, now we know they're magnetic, that these magnetic forms rotate. He's also known for developing the origami description of co cosmic structure formation. Uh, in the 2016 article in the paper, he said, if galaxies rotate, and they do, he says, so must filaments sticking out of them. Furthermore, galaxies joined by a filament should, should rotate mostly together, like objects attached to the ends of a rod. In fact, this is consistent with astronomical observations nearby galaxies tend to be spinning in the same direction. Dr. Naik's work was an important starting point for the team behind this paper. Motivated by the suggestion that the theorist, Dr. Mark Nierink, that filaments may spin, we examined the observed galaxy distribution, looking for filament rotation. It's fantastic to see this confirmation that intergalactic filaments rotate in the real universe as well as a, in a computer simulation. The team uses sophisticated mapping method that divided the observed galaxy distribution into segments. Then each of the filaments was approximated by a cylinder. The galaxies in the filament were then divided into two regions on either side of the filament's spine. Then they carefully measured the mean redshift difference between the two regions. 
The mean redshift difference is a proxy for the velocity difference, the Doppler shift, between galaxies on the receding and approaching side of the filament tube. That's how they measured the filament's rotation. In their paper, the team writes that what they found cannot be random. What is measured and presented here is the redshift difference between two regions on either side of a hypothesized spin axis that is coincidence, coincident with the filament spine. The full distribution of this quantity is inconsistent with random regardless of the viewing angle formed with the line of sight. However, the researchers cautioned their results don't imply that every filament in the universe is rotating. That would be an overreach. This work does not predict that every single filament in the universe is rotating, they write. Rather, that there are subsamples intimately connected to the viewing angle endpoint mass that shows a clear signal consistent with rotation. This is the main finding of this work. Taken together, the team writes in their conclusion, the current study, uh, Zai et al. 2021, demonstrate that angular momentum can be generated on unprecedented scales, opening the door to a new understanding of cosmic spin, which we now know is electromagnetism because it's instantaneous action at a distance. Lead author of this work is Pen Wang, the astronomer at the Institute of Astrophysics Potsdam, AIP. Title of the paper is Possible Observational Evidence for Cosmic Filament Spin. So, as I have shown on the right hand side of my video, I have shown that, as I have said previously, when energy and matter enter the system of a magnet, the magnet filaments will start rotating. God showed me this. I went to look for it and the uh, results are on the right. And you can see that matter is being rotated. This just isn't millions of galaxies long, millions of light years long. So this is a lot faster while you look at it. But this is what is happening in space because the universe is electric and magnetism. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. He showed me all this in visions. And uh, today... It's no longer a theory. Magnetic filaments in space, electromagnetic filaments. Energy attracts matter. Matter covers energy. Energy moves matter. The energy has been pulled in, rotated in, covered the energy, formed a sphere, and then that sphere is then moved by the energy. Thanks very much. Bye.